Hi guys, in today's video I've got a quick little hack for you showing you how to extend the background on some images using Photoshop's Content Aware tool. This is a pretty cool little trick I just learnt of and I just thought I'd share it with you guys because I thought you might find it handy, but it doesn't work on every image. So let's say I have this image and it's perfect except for the fact that I need a little bit more background either side. Now we can try to extend this with the stamp tool and do something artificial. But depending on what the background's like, we may be able to use Content Aware. So the way that it works is if I have my crop tool, which is over here on the left, uh, we have the crop tool here. If you can't find it, it might be hidden behind one of these. You simply click and hold. If you see the perspective or the slice tool, we hit this crop tool here and you can see we've got these handles on our image. We've got some options up here. If we're say creating a YouTube video thumbnail, we can go 16 to nine and crop that way. However, we don't want to crop in, we want to come out. So we just sort of extend this. I'm holding down Alt to bring this out from the center. And maybe we want to extend it out like that. And we decide we want to capture this part of the image like this. Now we've got some blank space left and right here, which is not ideal. But as long as we make sure content aware is ticked right up the top here and click tick, it will think about it for a moment and will artificially extend the image. Now it's not perfect. As you can see, we've got some repeating sort of uh, factors up here. This has sort of been stepped out, but it's easy enough to fix. Overall, it's a pretty good result when you consider the fact that we haven't had to really do anything to achieve this result. So now you'd be surprised how well it works. I'm gonna show you a couple of other images very quickly. Uh, I've already got crop selected, but if I simply hit the crop tool again, uh, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna turn this ratio off and just use the handles as I see fit this in place. If I extend this out, clear that, sorry. You can simply use the handles to add a bit here, add a bit to the right. And once again, we have content aware ticked and we click tick. And you can see the results actually not too bad. A little bit jumbled over here, but probably easy enough to fix. Um, there's a few little artifacts, but at the end of the day, we still get some pretty cool results. So I just wanted to show that with you guys and just remember it doesn't work for everything. Backgrounds like this could work pretty well where we just simply grab here. You can extend a little bit here and there, tick and tick. And then when we get the final result, that's actually pretty usable. Simple backgrounds work best. If you have a complex background such as this image, it simply doesn't really cut the mustard because we've got too much detail to try and replicate and you'll see that we get a bit of a jumbled look. But Either way, it's still a cool feature nonetheless and just a quick hack I want to share with you today. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please consider giving this video a like and if you want more cool little tips like this, leave a comment below um, or subscribe to my channel for more and we'll go from there. Have a great day and talk to you again soon.